Welcome back. This is what we were left with at the end of the last video where we learned how to draw project S curves for cumulative costs. Uh, if, you, if you don't remember what happened or if you haven't seen it yet, you can click down here and uh, this, this link will take you back to that video and you can see how we got to this point. Uh, the only thing that we're going to add in this video um, is instead of doing cumulative costs, we're just interested in uh, drawing an S curve for percent complete. Uh, now this can be by man hours or uh, percent of cost, things like that. Uh, in this case, we'll do the percent of the total cost of the project. So what we do is we just break down each, each uh, period here into the percentage of the total cost of the project. So we'll just write it here maybe. We'll just write the fraction here. We'll just stick it in. Um, so all we do is we take 600 divided by the total. So 600 divided by 3,700, and that's going to give you a fraction of 0 0.16. And we'll just keep doing that for each cumulative cost. So 1,800 divided by 3,700, you'll get 0 0.49. Uh, and then if you had 3,000 divided by 3,700, that gives us a fraction of 0 0.81. And then 3,500 divided by 3,700, that's going to give us 0.95. And then lastly, we have 3,700 divided by 3,700. Well, that's just going to give us a fraction of 1.0. Might as well give it two zeros. All right, and then what we could do, sometimes if you are... If you were doing for cumulative costs, often you would write the cumulative cost right on the graph. So for example, this point here would be 600. Uh, this point here, what was it? This was 1800. Remember, this was for cumulative costs. Uh, this point here, we had 3000. This point here, we had 3500. And this final point, the end of the project, the total project cost was 3700. 3700. All right, so we can do exactly the same thing for the percent complete. So if you wanted, depending on what uh, you've been asked to do, uh, for this point here, you could also just write 16%. It's just as simple as that. Here, this would be 49%. You've already spent, by this point, you've already spent 49% of the total project cost. Uh, here, this would be 81%. This guy would be 95%. Uh, percent and then finally here when you've hit thirty seven hundred dollars the total project cost uh, well this would just be one hundred percent so again very simple very similar to drawing just the cumulative cost all you do is you just divide the the cumulative cost up until your period at the end of your period divided by the the cumulative cost of the entire project and you'll get these percentages and then you can plot them on the graph just like you would if you wanted to label these points with the cumulative costs uh, of those points on the, the project S curve.